and, to, and get it well, let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> it's not my computer, so bear with me. What's a demon? Well, this is Webster's Dictionary. An evil spirit, okay. A source of agent, uh, or agent of evil, harm, distress, or ruin. I'll leave his dad. Webster, duh. <laughs> you, you're kidding me, right? Yeah. An evil spirit. I can understand that. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> we want to see if we can't get to the beginning of the demons. Here's some scriptures. I'm not going to. I'm not going to Bible bump, uh, Bible bump, bump you or whatever it's called. <laughs> Bible thumper. There we go. Do I sound nervous? No. Fake it. Where did demons come from? I, I, we get asked this almost everywhere we go. Now, if you think, actually, no. The chicken or the egg? Hell or the demons? Hell come after the demons. Demons started out as angels, and they were in the heavenly throne, especially with Lucifer. What had happened, and you can read it on these chapters, okay? I, I didn't put any of the rest of it up, and you'll find those chapters on flyers that we've got, so don't worry about copying them down right now. But Lucifer, Satan, but Lucifer at, at the time was at the right hand of God. He was his uh, uh, main, main dude, <laughs> main man. He was in charge of getting all the, 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 the band together and all the praise and and he had that authority. There was no other person above him than God. Well, he got it in his mind, and he thought, I'm better than this. I know I am. You hear him talking to a couple of his pals. He's better than this. Sure he is. I know he is. He went up against God. <laughs> that was a, losing the donut. Look, that was the best job on, on the universe, you know? Just working beside God, having fun, enjoying presence. And he wanted to go against him. He thought he was better. While he did that, he would get and talk a third of the angels into doing it with him, going against God and started battling out. We are we are better than you, and then a major battle went, took place. And the demons, obviously, the evil angels lost out. They were thrown down. That's why Lucifer is called the morning star. Because he was, he was lit up when he hit the dirt. <laughs> but you'll find in these three chapters how the demons came about. This is many eons, many millennium ago. Many, 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 many moons back. And you'll be able to, you'll be able to read it. Don't take my, like that guy last night, that was interesting. Don't take my word for it. Study it. Look it up, read it. Get you some knowledge. Knowledge is power. This is another question a lot of folks pose was Are am I possessed? How many of you have heard that? Maybe not on the line. A couple of you? Um uh, we get it a lot like when we're, where we're at and we start praying over folks. <laughs> He's cute. <clears throat> we start praying over folks, but the first thing that, that they want to they know, and I guess they're afraid. They don't have any idea of how it works, uh, what happens, uh, like a, a depression sets in, where did that come from? It's not normally there. So it's either oppression or possession. Possession, obviously. You're suffer you suffer blackouts. You have no idea what you did in a certain matter of time. People can witness this and see that, uh, or hear different voices than yours. Uh, different smells is another key. But possession, if you, if you have to ask me if you're possessed, nine chances out of 10, you're not. He, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he would, especially somebody like myself, he, they hide from me. I, I go downstairs, and that thing downstairs, that old black fellow, yeah, he won't come out when I'm down there. <laughs> Eric, where's Eric? Oh, he went down? I don't understand it. I was wanting to play a little, get to know him, see how he's doing, what, anything to eat. 
But um, possession, you'll know when, you're, when the possession comes. Uh, uh, your family will know. Oppression is the main thing, though. The demons will come into your home. Why? How? If you've suffered anything emotional, anything in your childhood, and by this I mean rape, molestation, a death in the family, to where you have an emotional breakdown or something to, to really, really bring some depression in your life, that we call it as an emotional door to where a demon can get his foot in, so if you can just imagine what it looks like, or a demon can get his foot in and wreak havoc in your life. That's oppression. That will be, a, a, if you examine it like this, talons on a, a bird or an angel, whatever, evil angel, and digging into your brain. He's not seen, you can't see it. A lot of times you can't take a picture of it. But regardless, they're there, and they do this. They implant sentences into your mind. You, you, you're, you're not worthy, you need to go kill yourself. This is oppression. Because he can't take over your body, he's just wanting you to do things. Definitely oppression from demons. Their characteristics, isn't that guy, I know he's pretty, isn't he? He's, he's a darling. Well, obviously, the first one you would, you would think is that they're definitely evil. <laughs> and that's what to be said. They're arrogant, very. They're egotistical. This sounds like some of the guys I know. So, <laughs> they have a sulfuric smell. Have you ever lit a match and in the middle of it, striking and uh, starting to burn, blow it out and smell it? That's sulfuric, sulfur smell or if you have a water. <laughs> but <laughs> the sulfur smell, it, if there's a demon present, you're gonna, you're gonna smell that. If there's a demon present, you're gonna smell that. And then we go into other braggarts. Again, where's, where's Eric? <laughs> Overly, I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be crying. Overly confident, again. <laughs> liars, nah, he's not a liar. But they will lie to you. They're, they're the kings of lies, with, with Lucifer being the ultimate king of lies. And they rank like our military does. I'm a veteran uh, back in the Vietnam era. And we went by ranks. I ended up with, with being a sergeant when I got out. Well, if you, you figured this, the top of our ranking was the President of the United States. And so the top of their, their ranking was Lucifer. The, the top dog of... Hi, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> They've been talking about you. <laughs> but their rankings it would put Lucifer in, in, in charge of the whole mess. Now, when you say uh, Satan is, is in, the, in this house or over the, over the, the town, no, no, he's not. He's up there battling something else over Washington, D.C. or someplace like that. So if you figure them out, Lucifer, Obama. Hmm, I didn't mean to put it. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Somebody said, go ahead. <laughs> but you see, the, the, you see where we're going with this. You have your majors, you have your, your lieutenants, you have your privates. And down at the very bottom are the minions. A minion is also a demon, but they are ornery. They're a, a pest, like a, 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 yeah, a mouse. <laughs> Aren't those your most common? I'm sorry, I didn't Aren't hear that. Aren't those your most common that you would, that I still more didn't of, hear. Aren't those the most common? Pieces? Yes. The yes, they are. They're, they are the most common. And to, to help you, when I get finished here, we're going to have a question and answer service. I told Eric I was going to have it, and he said no, but I said yes, I knew it. <laughs> but yes, you're right. Minions are the most common. We've seen pictures, and I've tried to get her to, to email me, though. We have a big Mastiff dog. He's a big black Mastiff dog. And she took a picture of her dog, 
And in this picture, it was, and it was digital, and on the top of this dog, sitting on the top of the dog's head was a minion. It was gray, small body, had wings. It looked like a gargoyle, gargoyle. <laughs> only it was smaller and a lot uglier. And it had its talons inside the dog's head. And when we went into this place, that dog would not look at me. He would not come near me until he went past about the 12th time. And I grabbed his leash. Another dumb thing this hillbilly did. You see a pattern going here? <laughs> anyway, I grabbed his leash and I put my hand over his head and it, it just touched me. Um, I started crying. <laughs> Big old hillbilly tears. And I said, in the name of Jesus, you leave this dog alone. I, and well, the dog, when it released, the dog hit me in the face. Full, full force in the face. My wife said that I should have been knocked out. All I felt and, and realized that there was a little bit of slobber from the dog's mouth when I got my glasses. So I was thankful of that. But after that happened, even the animals, that mastiff was all over him, licking, playing. He wanted to have some fun now. And that's what that power is available. It does fight these, these ugly looking things. Now, granted, Lucifer doesn't look like that. Hollywood would make you think that he's all red, got a tail, he's got horns sticking out. Um, he's the most handsomest of them all. When you go into the family, and this is what part I, I always like. When you interview the client or the family, <clears throat> let me get him up. I'm going to tank it. There we go. We like to separate the family. That way you don't get to, uh, you don't see them talking with each other and getting the story. Now, I'm not saying that we don't trust. It's just a better way of us getting the story right. So we separate the family. And you'd ask the pertinent questions of each one. That you're, you're, you're going to get personal with it. You have to get personal with it. If you want to get down to the bottom of what's going on in your house, you've got to get personal. And asking what we said before, have you ever been molested? Have you ever been raped or beaten physically, mentally? Something that has an emotional drop on you. Something that will, that will just positively open that emotional door I spoke of earlier. If yes, it could be that foothold. Very well could be. Now, I also have come across kids playing with Ouija board, not knowing what the heck they're doing with it. Shouldn't even have it in their hands. Opening up um, a, a portal. And they do exist. There are portals. If you don't close it, it will wreak havoc. And we do that also. But when you go into a home, use all your senses, all five senses. Smell. Sometimes you can taste acrid in the room, a little smoke. You can hear things. Just sit down, hush. I know it's hard for Eric. No, <laughs> oh, I love him. We've, we've been on hunts together, and he, he is a very good friend of ours. That's why I pick on him. Oh, yeah, I, I know he does. So that, he's, he's probably got some good ones on me, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but use all your senses. Sit down, be quiet, and just listen. You would not believe what will, you will uncover if you just relax and shut up. <laughs> like my wife tells me. Relax and, and keep quiet. You'll find some things. Take notes of it. Okay. Now on some of the... Can you... Can we do this? Is it possible? I broke your... Uh, I broke his what, flash line. It doesn't work now. Okay. That's all right. The cases, you're going to, oh, you see it real good here. The cases that we've come across. Now, this young lady was, uh, they were just sitting around watching TV. All of a sudden, she felt like choking in her throat. And nobody was doing it. After 